we've witnessed an unprecedented loss of bats from white nose syndrome. The analysis that we've done here indicate that these bats uh, in at least northeastern U.S. are going to uh, die out within 20 years. I've worked with bats over 45 years. Never have I seen or even know about in the literature any kind of mortality comparable to what we're seeing. It was first discovered in 2006 in uh, upstate New York in a cave and uh, uh, since that time, the fungus has spread throughout the east and into the Midwest. What we do know is that all the bats that have the fungus ultimately die. There are nine species of bats that occur here in the northeastern U.S., uh, six hibernate. So it's those hibernating bats that are affected by the white nose syndrome. Some of these hibernating areas can have multiple species of hundreds to hundreds of thousands of individuals in a single cave or mine. And so when we observe declines of, say, 99% at a single site in a year, we're talking about a lot of dead individuals. They play a very important role in ecosystems. They suppress insect populations, insects that feed on crops. Bats are natural uh, pesticides, in effect. There are some insects that they feed on that carry uh, diseases to humans. A million bats that have died from white nose syndrome over the last uh, four years, each year, those million bats would have eaten 694 tons of insects. I think what we have to do is do more research, that is to try to identify what the causes of the, how the fungus acts on the bat. What we have learned to date is that the immune system is suppressed. We've also tried to identify uh, bats genetically, that is that may have some resistance to this, and then we need to protect those uh, populations that show some evidence of resistance.